Chris Knight, I'm the director of Grove Lake, uh, and what you're first going to see is uh, pre-production, which is a lot of the busy work uh, and getting a lot of the things ready for actual filming, finding actors, finishing the script, and a lot of other chaotic uh, things. So, enjoy. So I got a call from Rich about three weeks towards the end of my summer. Uh, asking if I would direct this movie. Uh, and I kind of just jumped on board right away. And I, I think those three weeks, um, I got myself mentally ready uh, and then just hopped right in. Uh, and this crew really, really took off at the beginning. This crew, more so than any in the past, really took the pre-production phase seriously. And any successes you see on screen I credit that directly back to that pre-production. The students came up with the locations. We had uh, probably 10 or 11 different locations in this movie at various times. We had to find a gas station. We had to find a house where we could actually do the filming, not only exterior, but inside as well. We had to have a bait shop because of the storyline. That's where they all meet every morning. That's where everybody kind of shows up and gets their coffee. We decided early on that we needed that location that you find in every small town where everybody goes in the morning to get their coffee and just say hello. On any production, you're going to have one phase that falls behind. Unfortunately, the phase on our production that kind of fell behind was the script. Uh, it had gone through several drafts, and when we were still finishing it as we were going into the first week of filming. We had some last-minute changes, and I actually wound up writing the script in the end and uh, took ideas based on conversations that I'd had with at least a dozen people. Some of it worked really well for the performers, and some of it didn't. So that's the job. The writer went back to it. I rewrote a lot of this. Chris rewrote a lot, the director, and um, he, he did a lot of rewrites and uh, cut things down, did a really wonderful job of taking and condensing certain ideas. Uh, not to the extent to where we were recreating and, uh, you know, starting a new story. Um, we were doing typical things that, you know, an average movie would do with rewrites, uh, but it was, just, it was just a lot going on. We also had to find actors. I mean, we had no actor pool when we started in this summer. This script called for several people that were older, um, including the most important one being Mandy. We actually found somebody we were so happy with that was going to do the part of Mandy, and right at the last minute she had a health problem and we lost our Mandy. I'll give credit, it was my mom. She goes, you know who would be good for this? I said, who? And she goes, Juanita Spence. And she reminded me of who she was. I'd met Juanita earlier, about three years prior, and she was a director of a play that I went to see downtown at the Muncie Civic Theater. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, she's got the attitude we need and everything else. And we were very, very fortunate with the people that we found uh, because not only were they able to do it and willing to give us the time, but they were actually good at what they were doing. Um, and that's something that we really really lucked out on. All the pre-production really ends up not being heralded in the end, but it is the most important part. <laughs> 